The history of the African American Studies Department at Emory University is rooted in protest. In March of 1969, among other demands listed in the Emory Manifesto, the Black Student Alliance, or BSA, demanded for the creation of a Black Studies program. This academic program would educate all members of the Emory community about the African diaspora and the Black experience. The BSA met with university administration to address these demands, but they felt as though the administration did not respond to their demands with urgency. Consequently, the Black Student Alliance protested and marched on campus to pressure the administration to meet their demands. As a result of the students' dedication, the Afro-American Studies or Black Studies program was established at Emory University in 1971. It was the first Black Studies program in the Southeast. Dr. Dolores P. Aldrich was hired by Emory University to serve as coordinator for the program. The program was initially housed in the Art History Department. The Afro-American Studies program continued throughout the 1970s and eventually moved to the Institute of Liberal Arts at Emory University. The program offered a study abroad program to Haiti as well as options to either concentrate in the program or minor in it. The program celebrated its existence by implementing the inaugural Grace Towns Hamilton Lecture, an annual lecture that would focus on the Black experience and would feature dynamic speakers. The preservation of existence was not easy, however. Each year, the program had to submit reports on its progress, challenges, and future recommendations to the review board and essentially fight for their continued existence throughout the next years. Faculty members from various departments at Emory, including the Music Department and the Sociology Department, sustained the program by teaching intellectually stimulating courses about the Black experience. The name of the program had changed to Afro-American Studies and African Studies in 1980, reflecting the mission to include the varied experiences in Africa within the discourse about the collective Black experience. During the mid-1980s, Dr. Rudolph P. Byrd became the new coordinator of the program. Under Dr. Byrd's leadership, a Black literature bibliography and collection was started at Woodruff Library at Emory University in order to dispel the myth of Black illiteracy. In 1992, African American Studies became its own undergraduate program and in 2003, the program had gained departmental status, becoming the Department of African American Studies. Then, Dr. Leslie Harris became the new chair of the Department of African American Studies. In 2005, Dr. Harris brought deep awareness and understanding about race relations to the Emory community through the Transforming Community Project, or TCP. Through TCP, Dr. Harris coordinated the unveiling of Emory's historic connection to slavery, as well as modern-day racial tensions. So impactful was the TCP that President James Wagner of Emory University still refers to the TCP and recommends that the university revisit it in order to deal with the current and familiar racial tensions that the community is experiencing today in 2016 at Emory. After Dr. Harris's leadership, Dr. Mark Sanders became the new chair of the department and in 2015, Dr. Carol Anderson became the newly appointed chair of the Department of African American Studies. The Department of African American Studies is heavily involved with the community of black students at Emory University through advising, scholarship, and the contribution of resources. In 2013, after President James Wagner's reference to the historic Three-Fifths Compromise in his letter in Emory Magazine, Faculty members in the Department of African American Studies at Emory University offered support to members of Emory's community who were affected by his comments.
Their scholastic and heartfelt support ignited the black community to unite and take action on Emory's campus. The community protested, marched, and rallied against racism that semester. As a result of their shivings and collaborations with the Dean of Campus Life, Dean Ajay Nair, the Emory Black Student Union came into existence and the bias incident reporting system was established, both in 2013. The Department of African American Studies also advises many students in the black community to study excellently, write courageously, and serve selflessly. The guidance of professors in the African American Studies Department has been invaluable to the courageous activism and impactful scholarship that students have produced at Emory University. Notwithstanding this guidance is the Mellon Mays Undergraduate Fellowship, or MMUF, that is housed in the Department of African American Studies. MMUF awards African, African American, Latinx, Asian, Asian American, Pacific Islander, and Native American students fellowships based on original scholarship and a dedication to becoming a professor in order to increase the representation of these ethnic groups in the academy. These fellowships provide support, resources, and funding of a PhD program to the selected students. Combined with this is the impact of the frequently held Grace Towns Hamilton Lectures that focus on the Black experience and feature dynamic and powerful speakers. Also, class service trips to communities affected by racism are conducted in the Department of African American Studies at Emory University. All of these contributions reflect the overall mission of the department to help black communities that are in need all over the world and to educate communities at large about these issues in order to create positive change. It is evident that the Department of African American Studies is an irreplaceable part of the Emory University community. Students at Emory should continue to take classes in the Department of African American Studies in order to engage with issues in the black community and to focus on the black experience and to connect with the dynamic faculty who are present in the department. I have appreciation and gratitude for all of the students, faculty members, and staff members who dedicated their time and energy to the creation and sustainability of the Department of African American Studies at Emory University. Thank you.